Aloha you guys. I am going to show you my Sam's Club haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up at Sam's Club this morning, then continue watching. Aloha. So the first thing I wanna show you is potting soil. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Potting mix is what they have it labeled. So I got two of them. They're 55 quarts. And I believe they were like $8 and some change each. So it's a really good price. The miracle Grow was like $13 for the same size or maybe a 50 quart. So definitely a good deal to get the members mark, the Sam's Club brand. I also picked up these lawn chairs. Got this little llama or yeah, llama alpaca looking print for Nella and then I got a blue for Ikaika. He his favorite color is red and <laughs> I thought I grabbed him a red but in the store it looked red when I got outside and I actually checked the label which I didn't even know that they wrote the color print on it. It was pink so I knew he wouldn't be happy if I got him pink. <laughs> so I ran back in to exchange it for a blue. So here is the haul. I've got this Dutch oven, some produce, and then I think some like bars and whatnot. I saw this last time I went to Sam's Club and I thought about getting it, but I obviously did not because I bought it today. And I've been wanting a Dutch oven because I want to make bread. And if you can see right here, there's bread. But yeah, I wanted to get this just for making bread. Uh, maybe some soups. I know winter is almost over, but um, I don't know. I don't know. This North Carolina weather, I might be able to make some soup in it. Blueberries. I have bought, I don't know, I think like three or four of these boxes of plant starters from Sam's Club so far. <laughs> And um, I just got these blueberries because the other blueberries that I got weren't sprouting and they didn't have the buds on them. So I saw this, these leaves look a little sad, but um, you know, they're still soft and they'll be fine. So I gotta go soak those and put that in something. Then I've got some coleslaw because I wanna do like some shrimp tacos or fish tacos this week. Got some broccoli that's already washed and cut, just something convenient. Usually I get the crowns and I wash and cut them myself, but I was like, eh, it's only like $3. So let me just be lazy for a minute. Cucumbers, my kids absolutely love cucumbers. So they eat cucumbers every single day. Um, I always pack them cucumbers for lunch. So we always have to get more. Bananas for my husband and my kids. They go through bananas like crazy avocados for mommy and Nella because we love our avocados. Some cage-free brown eggs. And I think this is a better price than Aldi's for the organic cage-free eggs. I'm gonna have to do like a price comparison, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is cheaper. Minis, Cliff Bar Minis. So I usually pack my son a Cliff Bar like two times a week for his end of the day snack at school. And I always get him the full size bar. So now they have the little mini guys. And I don't know, it says this is the actual size. He might be a little disappointed, but um, I don't know. I don't think he needs a, a huge bar. And I have thought about cutting them in half and giving it to him that way, but um, I don't know. So anyways, yay for the minis. Not a fan of all the packaging, but whatever, you know, it's a few times during the month that he gets those things. These oat bites, my daughter really likes these. Uh, when she eats them, they look really good and I wanna try it. This is on sale and it's non-GMO, gluten-free if that matters to you. And they are vegan, I believe. I don't think there's any allergens. Yeah, 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 vegan. 
So there's no egg, there's no nut, nothing like that. So really good. I'm like surprised that Sam's Club has this kind of thing. But, you know, Walmart is stepping up their game in, you know, the uh, crunchy department. Got this. Um, who uh, who do I watch? Um, Eden. Eden. Oh gosh, I don't <laughs> I don't know what her channel is. Um, I'll put it on the screen. But she uses this, and I just wanted to try it. So I thought we would have like salmon and some red potatoes and asparagus, and do some seasoning on the potatoes with this. Then this is spinach and ricotta ravioli. This was on sale. This is also non-GMO. Then some Beyond Burgers. These were on sale. I'm going to have burgers this weekend. And I may have opened this for the ride home. <laughs> I got these mini, again with a mini. I got these mini kind bars. And... Once again, the actual bar size. So when I took it out, I was like, what? It's so tiny. It's literally like two fairly large bites, three normal size bites. Ugh, I don't know, but these are so delicious. And sometimes you don't need a whole bar. You just want like a little bit. So anyways, that's mine. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you wanna see more of my grocery hauls, what I buy for my family, if you wanna see what I cook for my family, then just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to be better about uploading videos and all of that good stuff. But um, yeah, I look forward to talking to you guys and connecting with you in the comment section. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting like a lot of gardening things. And if you saw my video, I don't know how many videos ago, um, we are going to be trying to grow our family. So... If you're interested in the whole TTC journey, um, yeah, follow along. I would love to have you. I would love to share information that I have, of course, as a mom, but also as a doula, a labor and delivery doula, which I am, postpartum doula. So if any of that is interesting to you, if any like post vasectomy, vasectomy reversal, you know, pregnancy after vas vasectomy reversal <laughs> intrigues you or if that relates to you in any way, then I would love to have you join along. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Aloha. Ahoy ho.